hello everybody welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here then welcome uh so today we're gonna try doing a get ready with me now before i start um i'm no i'm no makeup artist i have no idea really on how to do makeup um we're just we're just going with the flow here um i'm hopefully going to be going out for dinner tonight so i figured we should just fix this um so i'm going to yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say what i'm using um but i will try my very best to link everything in the description box below um and um, if you guys have any questions definitely feel free to ask me but um yeah we may as well just get started um let me just i gotta go wet my sponge i'll be right back okay so um yeah so uh, also if you guys see me doing anything wrong don't come for me. Like I said, I don't know how to do makeup professionally at all. Um, also, don't mind the uh, appearance of my apartment. I've got laundry over here and the dryer's probably gonna go off. Archer might bark, but you know, that's real life. So, um, we'll probably just get started with this story. So, um, when I was in university, I met this boy, um, his name was, uh, let's call him Doug. Yes, Doug. So, um, met this guy named Doug. Very, very nice guy. Um, to be quite honest, I didn't know that Doug liked me. Um, we had gone on a couple of dates, which again, I didn't know that uh, they were dates because he is not very good at dropping hints and I'm not very good at picking up on them. So, um, yeah. So anyways, uh, long story short, he asked me out, uh, and to be his girlfriend. Um, and I said, yes, this is the first boy I'd ever gone out with, uh, on a, on like dating. This is my very first boyfriend. So, really nice guy. Um, he was into sciences. I was in communications. Um, yeah, he was, he was really awesome. So, you know, the whole year we had been, you know, dating. Um, I was in a, uh, sorority. So he was my date to formal. Um, so, uh, started getting a little bit serious. My mom had asked me, you know, like what's, what's going on with this boy? Like, tell me about Doug. And so, uh, I was, you know, I told her about him and, you know, I told her how much I liked him and, you know, I was in love because, you know, I was 18 years old and didn't know a thing about anything. Um, and she's like, Oh, well, I would really like to meet him one day. And I'm like, yeah, it's sure. Even though, um, I don't know how many of you have black bombs out there, but they're very scary. And, um, I grew up in a, a single parent household. So my mom, single mom raised me and my sister. So it was scary for me to think about my mom meeting any boy, let alone the first boyfriend of her firstborn. Um, so, but um, Doug wanted to take me away on a trip. And um, so my mom was like, well, there's no way you're going with this boy if uh, I don't know who he is. And I mean, that's fair enough. Like the world can be a scary place. I'm pretty sure that, you know, one day if I have a daughter, um, I'm going to make sure that I meet whoever she's going out of town with. Like that's just, I, yeah, I get it. Um, so my mom is like, okay, well, I would like to meet Doug. So if you could uh, arrange for a meeting between us, um, that would be wonderful. And I said, okay, well, I will uh, talk to him and figure out what days work for him. And my mom said, okay, well, how about the last day of classes? And I was like, well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's going to work because the last day of classes is, uh, a huge party. Um, so, I mean, typically what happens on the last day of classes is that you don't go to class. You, um, you, you party, you go to a frat house and you drink and you, you know, play games and play beer pong. And then, you know, you, um, 
you're not you're not at your best let's just say that you're just definitely not at your best but you know uh my mom was like well if you even think that i'm gonna let you go out of town with doug you um better bring him to the house now little thing um this was my freshman year but this was doug's senior year so he was just finishing his degree he was done school it was his not only was it his last day of school for the year it was his last day of school ever so he was well on his way to having a couple of beverages um and so i said to him i'm like my mom wants to meet you today and he's like yeah that sounds like a great idea and i'm like oh oh man uh, no it, this is not a good idea this is a horrible idea and the fact that you think it's a good idea just shows me how bad of an idea it really really is but i guess we're gonna roll with it aren't we so um you know i took us to burger king i think it was burger king and um we ate because no i'm not bringing him to my mom's house to meet her when he's fully intoxicated that's just and especially at like three in the afternoon you know like you can't be that shit-faced and meet my mom my caribbean mom nah not gonna definitely not gonna happen so um go to burger king and i like, sober up tell him that he's sober up a little bit and um so we i drop we get to my mom's house get to my house and um my mom the wonderful woman she is um invites us both inside and she's like oh Doug it's so nice to meet you and he's like it's nice to meet you Mrs. Campbell like this is you know wonderful like I'm so excited to meet you and my mom looks at me and she's like what are you doing here and then I said well um I figured you were meeting Doug so we should you know and she looks at me she's like no 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 and she hands me a list of things to do and she's like these are all the errands I need you to run um while me and Doug talk and I'm like you what and i don't think i've ever seen all of the color leave someone's face and the fear of god be put into them like i have at this moment when my mom told me that she was gonna stay with doug and just chit chat so i'm like are you sure like he like mom he's like really like I was I was scared for his life because my mom she's she's a wonderful woman very very lovely lady but um again Caribbean mom I'm terrified of her um you know church going you know no premarital anything you know definitely straight edge um goes to church on Sundays uh yeah but she's like, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. I got Doug. Doug is in good hands. You go get out of here and I'll call you when you can come home. And I'm like, okay, yes, ma'am. Cause I also am scared of my mother. So I decide to get my butt into the car and I just drive and start just getting stuff done on this list. So, you know, I think about after an hour or two, two hours, I think, my mom calls and she's like, okay, you, you can come home now. And I can sense like a, a bit of joy in my mom's voice. And I'm thinking to myself, she killed him. She killed Doug. She, he mur she murdered him and buried him in the backyard. <sighs> no. So I get home and, uh, I get up the stairs and I open the front door and all I hear is laughter. Laughter and like not crazy laughter. So like no one's gone insane, not laughter that's fearful. So I know that again, no one has gone insane, but it, it sounds like healthy, happy laughter. And so I'm like, okay, so this is good. This is good. And I get into the house and um, I'm like, oh, everything's good here. And my mom's like, oh, Demia, Doug is just a gem. He's so wonderful. Such a well-mannered boy. 
and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is great. This is great. Um, this is wonderful. Doug seems to be doing the job. Everything is good. We are happy. Um, maybe I'll get to go on this trip with him. Like it's just a weekend in Banff, but you know, still first grown up trip um, with a boy. Big deal, big deal. Um, and so what happened? So we were nearing like kind of the end of the visit and I was like, okay, Doug, like we're going to probably get going soon. I got to drop you back off at home and then I have to come back because, you know, I got to start studying for finals. And my mom was like, you know what, Doug, it was so nice to meet you. It, you know, you are just, you are just a gem and I totally approve of you. Um, and hopefully we'll see you at the house for dinner sometime. And, um, Ooh, that's great. And he's like, yeah, no, definitely. He was, it was really nice to meet you, Miss Campbell. You know, your daughter is amazing. You know, she is fantastic. I, you know, I love her. She, rude. Um, you know, she's, she's wonderful. And my mom is like, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then he says, so I was wondering if it would be okay for me to take her away to Banff for uh, a night. Um, you know, I, I really, like I said, I really, really like her. And I think that uh, it would be nice to, you know, to have a weekend away. Um, and I'm like, scared. No, scared is not the word. What is, what is worse than, like terrified? Like, I am thinking, okay, you know, like, this is it, this is it. But at the same time, like, this talk with Doug must have gone, is, is going well. Like, everybody's still alive. My mom still has a smile on her face. Um, and so my mom says, you know what? Um, I did give this a lot of thought. And um, I, I do think that Demia is still a little bit too young to be going on any kind of romantic holidays with uh, any boys. So unfortunately... I'm going to uh, have to say no. And I'm like, okay, you know, yeah, that sucks. But at the same time, like I do see where my mom is coming from and she's not being mean about it. She's actually being quite, quite nice about it. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's, this is a small win, you know, maybe not this time, but maybe next time. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just, Doug, let's, let's, let's toss in the towel. Let's throw in the towel, a white flag. We're not, I mean, we're not going to Banff this, you know, this next coming up weekend, but you know, there's always next time. And he, hold on one second. Okay, this. He decides, and I don't know if it was the false sense of security that my mom gave him, all the drinks he had had earlier that day, maybe they all just hit him at once, or simply the audacity to look my Caribbean mother in, in the eyes and say the following. Well, Mrs. Campbell, I know that Demia is a grown up. She is a grown woman. And if we feel that she's old enough to go away for the weekend with me, then I think she's grown up enough to make that decision on her own and she doesn't need your permission. Boy, if you don't get when I tell you the smile on my mother's face immediately immediately vanished. And she just said to me very quietly drive him home. Drive him home now. And I knew that that meant that if I didn't drive him home at that moment, there was going to be a homicide. And then I would have had to testify against my own mother. Um, like, I just, 
I don't know what got into him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So pretty much, um, he, I drove him home and he was like, well, I think that went really well. And I said, you know, I, I think that went really well too, until you told my mother uh, that uh, you, you thought I was grown enough, that I was a grown ass woman, a whole grown ass woman at the age of 18 years old. And I can make my own dec decisions when it comes to who I can go uh, away with for the weekend. You told this to my Caribbean immigrant mother. I don't know who you think you were talking to, but I can tell you that the fact that my mother did not kill you, she must really love me uh, because, <laughs> yo, no, this was not good. So um, needless to say, uh, we didn't go on this trip. Um, that summer, uh, we were supposed to, as a group, go houseboating. Well, my mom told me that um, I could go houseboating, but he wasn't allowed to go. And not only was he not allowed to go, but if I dared to have him go, if he went and I went, and she found out about it later on, Like, y'all have to see that movie, Ma? Yeah. No, Ma has nothing on my mom. She would have, she would have ended my life. So we didn't end up going. It was pretty, <laughs> oh my goodness. It was, it was, I mean, now looking back, I can, I can look back at it and laugh, only laugh because my mom, I think made him pee a little bit in his pants. Um, but I mean, we also, we ended up being together for four years. Um, you know, my first love and, uh, I just, I look back at it fondly. Uh, my mom would always ask uh, about him, uh, until she passed away about, you know, how, how's Doug doing? How's Doug's family? How's Doug's mom? Because my mom actually my mom met his parents as well. That's another story that that involves some wine. Um, yeah, so oh, that's my story time. That's my very first story time. I hope you guys liked it. I am almost done with this look. Again, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Um, but I, I do like to play one on YouTube. So uh, you know, if you guys want to hear a little bit more, if there's anything you want to know about my life, feel free to comment in the box down below about, uh, anything you might want me to talk, talk, to, talk about. I mean, I, I think I've lived a pretty interesting life. I like that lip. Um, and I've, I've definitely done some, some things. So, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna put a little bit of gloss on. And uh, finish off with some setting spray. Yeah, I'm okay with this. This is this looks pretty casual-ish. Like I'm going to a nice dinner. Yeah, looks good to me. Well guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment like subscribe all the things um and i will catch you next time okay thanks bye